Okay, so this deserved another video simply because of the fact that this has nothing to do with XOC. This has to do with a problem between NVIDIA drivers. <laughs> I don't know why. But anyway, NVIDIA drivers and Intel systems. And as far as I can tell now, this has been around for a while. And it's because of the help of this guy right here, Splave. Also, his name's Alan. He also owns an SI company building factory overclocked PCs that I didn't even know existed. So maybe I'll have to secret shop that and see how that goes. But anyway, I've been talking with him back and forth today and we kind of uncovered the problem with the Intel rig and why it was scoring 2,500 points under my 9800X3D rig. And now that we've figured out the problem, I'm sharing it with you today for a couple of reasons. One, I always say people that figure out things and give themselves better scores and don't like to share it kind of suck because then the rest of us can't play too. So I can't do that as well. Uh, I have to share it with you. And two, this affects you and your gaming rigs, especially if you're running, um, I don't know if it's affecting other GPUs besides 5090. I think it is because I experienced the same problem with 4090 as well, but I guarantee you it's affecting all of your games. So today we're gonna show you what you need to do to get the max FPS out of your Intel rig, because right now it is artificially holding you back. Today's video is brought to you by our brand new GPU Apocalypse 2.0 shirt, kind of immortalizing all of the stuff you love about today's GPUs. Our GPU Apocalypse 1.0 shirt was actually one of our most famous and popular shirts, and now it's re-immortalized with GPU 2.0. But well, let's face it, the Apocalypse never went anywhere. It just evolved, just like this shirt. Go buy it now. Okay, so I've kind of reverted the system back to the state at which it was in the last video that you saw. And just for sanity right now, because we can do this all on the fly, it doesn't even require a reboot, as long as the system doesn't crash. Um, I want to get my score right now and then show you guys what I'm, what I know is the problem now and how to quickly, easily, and for free fix something that is existing in the NVIDIA driver that should not be the case. All right, so this should be our mediocre 37,002 to 300 or so. Oh yeah, even worse, 37,105. And here's the crazy part. My CPU is actually running 6.1 gigs right now. Check it out. 6.1. This is even 100 megahertz overclock more than you guys saw in the previous video because I spent some time tuning that. Um, here is the fix. And some of you may have already yelled this out in the previous video. If so, that's awesome because I there's a, lot, there's a lot more brains out there than there is in here, trust me. Anyway, uh, you want to download NVIDIA Profile Inspector, okay? This is where you can actually go in and check out everything that's going on with your driver. Because here's the problem, if you go into the NVIDIA control panel here, you get very limited settings. And yeah, you can set them per title and such, but you get very limited settings. This is what you get in the driver inspector. And not only that, you get that for every bit of the driver and every game profile that exists. See, even if you don't own the game, there's a profile for it because the GPU has to know how to handle that game. So what we're gonna do is we are going to go to our global setting right here, which is the very first one, global driver profile base profile. And we're gonna go down to section five. And you're gonna notice right here, rebar enable is set to disable. Now here's the crazy part. If I load up GPU Z, resizable bar says it's enabled. And that's because it's enabled in the, in the, the BIOS for the system, yes. But for whatever reason, the driver is not utilizing resizable bar, which as we know is huge when it comes to game performance because it starts to utilize system RAM for things. Now, if we go ahead and go to uh, rebar enable, which is so funny, rebar dash enable disabled. So, okay, we want to enable that, but we will, I'm just gonna select enabled, right? And then we wanna go to resizable or rebar options. And we're gonna set that to from the binary X0, X000 to 0001. Now ignore the games. It says Returnal and Red Dead Redemption 2. Ignore that. This is just a, a binary we wanna turn on. And then rebar size, we wanna do the one that ends in four. Or well, has a four in it right there. Red Dead Redemption 2, X0, X, bunch of zeros, four and a bunch of zeros. We want that one, okay? Then we're gonna hit apply changes right here. Boom. Your monitor may go black for a second, like mine did a, sec a second ago. Now, what I'm also gonna do here is I'm gonna double check in 3D Mark. If we go to the threes, 3D Mark Port Royal DLSS, section five. See, it, it carried the, the settings over. So there's enabled, 
there's our options, and then here's our size limit. If you have a separate profile set, like for instance, if I had set that first and then set a global, it will not override this one. So I like to go global first, then this one, just to make sure all the settings applied. But this is telling me right now that on just about any of these games, a lot of these games anyway, rebar is not being utilized. So you saw I have not rebooted the system. I have not done any of that. I have applied those changes. My score is still up right there. My overclock is still applied, right? The fans are still blaring. It's also why we're doing this all in one clip. Here's my overclock. It's set to 290 right now because 300 when the GPU was actually getting fully loaded was a little unstable. So I kind of set it down 10 or one bin, but there's my RAM, there's my voltage. Fans are hundred percent. Let's just run that again. So you'll see the AB is gonna go from a 37,109 or whatever it was to a 40,409. All I did was toggle those three things I showed you. And that's a problem. That, that, why would that be off in the driver in a setting you can't even see? Because the thing is, when any, anytime anyone says, hey, check if your re, if, if resizable bar is on, they always go to tech power up GPUZ and then look at it in that one section right there where it says enabled. But all that's mimicking is what the BIOS setting is, but then the GPU driver itself is not utilizing. Now here's the other problem. This doesn't exist, like this problem is not there on AMD systems, like AMD CPUs and such. I don't understand what the difference is between Intel's BIOS and resize bar versus AMD's BIOS and resize bar. It's the same GPU, it's the same driver, but it's reacting totally different to bar or resizable bar uh, between the two platforms. So that's been my fix. And now my score, that's a 40,409. Um, but I think this one was actually a 40,006, if I'm not mistaken. Let me see. I can, I'm just loading this result to compare. But that's a huge jump. Yeah, 40,602 so far has been my best. And that's the crazy part is the only way like on the, so it is indeed faster on 3D Mark for, for Intel's 14th gen by disabling E cores, locking P cores at six gigs or above, I'm at 6.1 right now, and um, versus the 9800X 3D. Because the 9800X 3D was scoring in the low nine, uh, 39,000s, I am getting more than a thousand points more. I was scoring at like 39,400s was my, in fact, I have the scores on, there, on here, it doesn't matter, you can go back and watch that video, but I am, I am getting a thousand points more on Intel than I am on AMD. And, I had no chance of ever breaking 40,000, 40, even on like the Astral card, without busting out like the AC and shrouding it and all that. This is just fans 100% with room temp. I haven't even touched chilling it in any sort of way. And here's the crazy thing, like our average clocks are not great. Like they're down in like the, that's over 3,000 right there. I guess they're actually not terrible. But they do drop below 2,900 a few times and we got to get the average up above 3,000 consistently for the whole run to have a chance of even getting to the 42,700 or whatever, 42,002, I don't remember my score, it doesn't matter. The point is I got, I want to get on there, I, I, I've got LTT benchmark or Linus Labs, Linus Tech Labs in my sights right now. So I had to get my platform finalized and working right before I had any chance of getting my GPU score up to there. So with that said, it's finally working. I finally have a dedicated XOC rig, which is something I had been wanting. And now that this is figured out, hopefully this helps you get more FPS in your games if you're running 13th gen or 14th gen. That should never be the case. All right, Splave, huge thanks for helping me figure this one out. Um, he had to do some digging as well. He's been running, because what he does, and you can do this as well, is if you open Profile Inspector, you can go up to, you can do the base profile or you can specifically for a certain game if you want it. I would just save the base profile, your global, like the global profile right here. But uh, what you can do is you can hit this little uh, up button, the little up arrow, export user defined profiles. And then anytime you reinstall your driver or you build a new system or anything, you can just export current profile, including predefined settings, export all customized profiles. You can select the various profiles that you've customized, et cetera. They'll all show up right there. And then you can just import them later. So if you ever make a change or have to update your driver or something and these could get overwritten, just import the new profile. It sucks to have to have that extra step, but this shouldn't be happening to begin with. 
shouldn't be a step you have to do. So just another gripe to add on to the pile of you know, the 18 layer cake of NVIDIA gripes that we've got. Yeah, you would think turning a setting on means that it's on, right? Well, the setting is on, it's available to the GPU and the driver, but the driver decided to just ignore it. Yay. Good job, NVIDIA. Thanks, Splave. <laughs>